Hey, what's up, everybody? Aaron Dowd here. I am the podcast dude, and I wanted to make a quick screencast for you guys to explain why I prefer editing podcasts in Logic Pro 10 rather than GarageBand. There's really just a few reasons, and the biggest one is the marquee tool. And I have the marquee tool set to my command click tool. So if I hit, if I hold down command on my keyboard, it switches to this marquee tool. And what this allows me to do is click and drag over some regions and multiple regions is not limited. I can select anywhere in here and then I've got a selection of that. So if I, if I just click on it once, it'll make breaks around all those things. So that's kind of cool. But then I could also hit delete and delete those tracks. So this is really great for quickly running through and cleaning up sections of the audio. If you need to cut out sections that don't need to be there, or like say you just wanna grab these guys. And then the other keyboard shortcut I use a lot is Shift F, and this just selects all the regions in front. Let me do something. Selects all the regions in front or equal to the one that you have selected currently. So I hit Shift F. Boom, all these guys all the way to the end of the track. So then you can move them around. This is super nice if you need to move some tracks over here and then grab this guy, hit Shift F, move it around. It just makes the editing process really, really quick. And it's just really nice to be able to select a section and then move stuff like that. You can drag and, and grab all those things. So that's super, super great. The way you do editing in GarageBand is just a little bit slower, but I think over time it really adds up. You have to actually select the track, move the playhead, and then hit Command T, which will make a cut in the track. So like say I wanted to cut this section of silence out, I'd go like this guy right here, Command T, move right here, Command T, and then I delete. Not, not too much different. Uh, and then if I wanted to cut both of them at the same time, you select them all, Command T, it makes two breaks. Command T, I could grab those guys, delete them, grab that, move it, and I don't know, let me see if the Shift F works on this. No. So I don't think there's a way to grab everything in front. And it's just those little things like that that really, really make a difference in editing time. So I wanted you guys to know that. Also, I really like the mixer view in Logic. So if I hit X, the mixer view pops up and I can see all the plugins for my channel strips. So Chris is right here, Dave. And so Chris right here, Dave. And these are all the plugins I have. I can set the microphone input if I was recording. I'm not in this case, I'm just editing. Uh, or I can set the output. And in this case, I have this output set to bus one, which I have a dialogue denoiser plugin just to clean up the background noise out of the audio track. So all my vocal tracks are sent to this track before going to the master track. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like having all the little faders here. I can move them up and down. That's really nice. Uh, what you have in GarageBand, you've got, these are the equivalent of fader where, where you can add or reduce volume. But if you hit B to open smart controls, then you have, depending on the track that you have selected, you've got some plugins down here. Like you've got an, an option for a noise gate. Don't want echo and reverb on the track. This isn't uh, music, but there are a lot of the same plugins, so that's really nice. But I, I really, I really like that being able to see all the different channel strips instead of just seeing one at a time. And then I don't know if there's a way to create a bus send. I might have to look at that a little bit more, but I don't think there is. At least I wasn't able to find one very easily when I was doing research for the podcast episode that this screencast is accompanying, which is how to edit podcasts like a pro. Head to thepodcastdude.com slash four if you want to listen to that. All right. So those are kind of the reasons I really like Logic Pro 10 for editing. And I hope this was helpful. Let me guys, <laughs> let me know if you guys have any other questions. And I'll talk to you next time.